Hello and welcome to yet another episode of We're Almost There. We almost have a new KD Plasma version. Currently, we are in beta. So today we're going to talk about what does that mean, why I hate doing beta videos, and how you can help out with making the next KD Plasma version super cool. So let's start off with what's a beta. So obviously, when you are preparing a new version, there's a certain point after which we just say, please do not add any new features because we are very very close to releasing it and we want it to be stable. After that day, which is the feature freeze day, we start testing and then we open the beta. The idea is that people all around the world join in and try out the beta KD software, I'll tell you how, and see if there's any issue with it. However, talking about all the new features in the beta is also talking about all the new features in the final release, it's not like the features changes. So if I just went here and explained to you every single new feature, that would just ruin the surprise, which is why I hate doing beta videos. But what I'm going to do today is explain to you how to get your hand on the beta, how to test it, and roughly what are the new features that we'll talk in depth later that you should be testing. So if you don't know when to do it, you can do it whenever you want until the 6th, no sorry, until the 9th of February, which is when we do the final tagging and after that the only super important stuff stuff gets in and then we release on the 14th, so you can mark the 14th of February in the calendar. Also on the 26th, which is just a few days from now, we have a beta review day where we all test the new beta in a coordinated way. So you can do it whenever, but if you do it on the 26th, you can join the Matrix Plasma channel and you can do it with us, which is pretty cool, I think. So try it out and see if you can find any regression. If you do find regressions, then you can open up a bug report at bugs.kd.org. Anybody can do it. It's gotten much simpler over the years. How do you actually get your hands on the beta? You download, I think this is the easiest way, KD Neon testing version, and you pop it up either on a live USB mode, so that might contain some bugs, or on a VM also, that might contain some bugs, because VMs don't support blur as an example, and live USBs are not full installations, so, but you can give it a shot. Let's see what we should be testing. So firstly, we have a new Plasma Welcome applications. Whenever you start using KD Neon, you should have this new dialogue that tells you about what is KD Plasma, how to use it, and I think even give you a couple of options to choose from, although I'm not too sure about that. So go through all the steps, click all the buttons, drag it around, try to break it, give a look to the text and images and see if there's anything wrong that might be rewarded or prettified. Check that this welcome wizard actually appears on first booth and you know this should be kind of stable but go through it. Secondly, we have a new flatpak permissions settings. So you go into system settings, you open applications category and then you get into flatpak permission settings. So you can install some flatpaks using discover so you're testing that one out as well and you should be able to check the permissions for each app individually in the system settings module. So you can check them on, check them off, see if the changes are actually applied. As an example, you can turn off the ability to connect to the internet and that should not allow the application to connect to the internet. You can try that out, these kind of things. Then there is a pretty big thing, which is the multi-monitor refactor. So it's not super easy to explain to you what it changes for a random user, but I can tell you that if you have more than one monitor, please test that everything is correctly working. So, you know, plug in the monitor, plug out the monitor, move the monitor around the system settings, check that your panel are all in correct positions. From this version forwards, you should have, if you connect a monitor to a laptop, always the display configuration system tray icon in the system tray that allows you to change between display configurations. So check that that actually appears. Try to change the primary monitor if that's still a thing. Try everything. If you have more than three monitors, uh, if you have three monitors or more, then there should be a dedicated 
settings regarding those. So if you have at least three, please test that out. My light went off, nice. <sighs> Next up, there is the KDE tiling system. So now, if you didn't know, KDE ships with that tiling system built in. You can access it via the shortcut META-T, which stands for tiling, and this will uh, access the tiling customizing view, I guess we could call it, where you can actually customize the tiling areas. So you can split them, move them around, they're usually tiled, but you can also do like floating areas, all sort of stuff. You can test various configurations. After that, you press Meta T again to exit this view. And whenever you're drag and dropping an application, you can hold shift to tile that application into the tiling zone that you're drag and dropping it into. So it's not full tiling out of the box or anything, but it helps, especially if you have like big monitors to tile your applications in custom ways. You should also test the button to load a layout, which is on the top right in the tiling view, which tells you some common tiling patterns that you can simply pick between. And you should also test the floating tiles. As I said, that's probably something that could break easily. I don't know. And also still on the top right of the tiling view, you can change the gaps between the windows. So that's another variable to keep uh, track of. So there is a lot of things that you should check to see if everything is still working correctly. In general, you should be testing the entire system. So you do some tasks that you do normally every day and you check if anything is wrong. And then if you find anything, if it's on the 26th, again, you can join the Plasma Matrix group, which is in the video description and talk about it in the chat. Otherwise, anytime you can always open a bug report and developers will look at it. Regarding this, one question that I recently got is why are .0 and .1 KD Plasma releases so buggy? And although, yes, some are buggier than others, the fact is that there are just few people who actually test KD Plasma during this beta period. And if not enough people testing, if not enough people test it at this time, then the actual testing that we get with real users trying out and finding bugs is as soon as we publish the release. I've seen distros talking about like, we could only ship KD Plasma from the .2 version and on, so that it's more stable, but of course that wouldn't change the fact that if that happens for every distro, then people would start using KD Plasma only after the 0.2 version and people would only find bugs from the 0.2 version. So what should be happening is finding bugs during this beta period, which is right now. So even if you don't normally test KD Plasma beta, try it out. Download KD Neon, burn it, uh, burn it into a USB and try it out. It's not that hard. And as a result, KD Plasma Dot zero, the very first version of KDE 5.27 will be super cool. You can bet it. I have done uh, some bug fixes actually to the KDE floating panel. You should probably test that one out as well because it turned out it had a lot of bugs. So who knows, maybe there are some more. And um, although you can donate to KDE specifically and that's another completely different thing that you might want to consider. I will also plug in the fact that I'm doing development for KD Plasma currently. So you can also donate to me. I'm trying to reach like 700 donation monthly to cover a uh, part-time involvement with KD because if you didn't know, I'm not paid by KD. I'm just a volunteer who's trying to bring this forward thanks to the channel and everything. So if you're able to chip in something that would be awesome, I've got Patreon, Libra, Pay, Kofi, anything. That said, thanks for watching. That was everything. And uh, try out KD Plasma Beta. Please try out KD Plasma. Try it out. There's probably bugs somewhere. You have to find the bugs.